Hi, I'm Jack Murray. This episode is brought to you by the Step Drill, an easy and fast way to, to drill big holes. <laughs> so, in this episode, we're building, we're building a strut spring compressor tool. We're taking a, we take a uh, Harbor Freight shop crane and add some uh, accessory, custom set accessory to compress springs. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. All right, so on this episode, I am going to convert or add the functionality of a of a uh, coil spring compressor, or strut spring compressor, to this shop crane. So I have this Honda CRV. I needed to uh, replace the shocks. And there's the strut. Problem is that these coils are very, are very uh, small diameter. So I bought the, these coil spring compressors from Harbor Freight, and they don't fit into the slot. But you can see I cut, cut it and shortened it so it would fit. But the problem is then it ends up jamming up against the shock itself. So, useless. So what I need to do is, uh, is just kind of make something that can compress the spring. So I can undo the nut and then the shock, put the spring back on. You know, you could just let it go flying, but then you won't be able to put it back together. <laughs> it can't un-go flying. So, uh, so... Yeah, I went online and there's a few different kinds and you know, 100 bucks to 700 bucks and sure I'd like a $700 one. But I have the shop crane I just uh, just bought from Harbor Freight recently to move all my engines around and weigh things and maybe you've seen my my video of me weighing things. But <laughs> So I'm thinking I, I should be able to use this to compress the spring and the problem is that with this this thing goes the wrong way you know you kind of, I would kind of want to stick it in here and have it come up and then have this press down on it but no because it goes the opposite way and so I thought about it some more and I think the way to go on this is to make is is the backside I mean you know this lifts up the the jack lifts up the front but it's gonna make the back go down so there is the key right so I'm gonna hook up I got I got these parts from an old trailer that was here on the property it's pretty pretty hefty uh, it's pretty a thick wall tube and it fits right in to the pocket on this strut so that's perfect and it also telescopes into this tube and uh, so I thought about doing something with that, but I don't think I need to do that. I think I just need to put this pipe. Well, you'll see. I'm going to hook it up. Basically, I'm going to put this pipe on the back of this this thing. And and then put something in to extend the, the back side of the boom. And then I can jack it up and compress the spring. So, all right. I'm going to build it now. All right, so yeah, you know, I thought about just welding this thing on, but of course, no, that's always a bad idea. So yeah, now and then I'm gonna decide if I will make it a little bit adjustable. I'll take this this tube and weld it on there and cut it, and then you can, it has a hole so you can adjust where the inside one goes so the height can be changed. All right, so I kind of I made the bottom part. And what I did is I put some bolts in from the bottom so you could just hand tighten the nuts and take it back off. And then I did make it so it adjusts. Got this pin, a couple holes, a couple holes in this so you can adjust the height of this thing. So, I mean, this happens to fit right in there. Um, it actually, you'll go, this is big enough are small enough to fit in this hole all the way down to the bottom so that's an option for maybe a different kind of strut 
but I really only need to get these off. That's all my priority is right now. So now I need to do the top part, and in this case, that this this thick ring happens to fit right over the top of this. So I'm gonna go with that, and then the rest of this scrap. I'm gonna put this on right on there, and. And then I'm going to get a piece that goes inside and curves and welds to this. So that way, when you raise it up, it's going to, when you raise this up, it's going to push this down about the right angle. Okay, got to do the, fix the, weld up this and cut this top part. Okay, so what I uh, decided to do is try and use the, the same boom piece as the front I just switched it around to the back and you know, I can pin it in right there that's pretty much about right for the strut and then I'm gonna cut this notch out I have to cut this off to bend it down and then I can I can put a couple bolts in so it's removable all right, so we got this piece made, and I decided, you know, put bolts in from the top because then they're under under tension instead of shear. You know, it's, it's going to try and pull the bolt out when it's pressing. And then I had to raise it up a little bit because of this angle, so having this adjustable really helped. So hey, let's try it. I think we're ready to try it. Let me set up the camera somewhere. So you gotta have some slop in here because it's not gonna come straight down. They have some chain or something on the spring so it goes flying and won't go flying, flying. We'll just stay where it's at. So I'm going to get away from this. <laughs> I'm going to get hide behind it back over here.
Alright, let's put the new one back. So yeah, works, works. So doesn't seem to be any stress at all, really. Maybe with it, I mean, this is a this is a Honda CRV, so maybe some big ass truck. Uh, okay, there you go, success. And how much time have I spent on it? Probably three hours I've spent doing this, but then I can do use it again later for other things. Saved me $120 from having to buy the complete unit. And I got it done today, rather than waiting to buy something. So that's a win-win. It's uh, cheaper and better. Not sure it's faster, though. Maybe uh, with some practice it would be faster. Okay.